Hi everyone, Shane Armand Rowe here. Today I'm going to show you what I use to rip CDs that I get from Goodwill. So we are all in this mass frenzy. My entire circle of uh, friends are all massively running out to Goodwill and picking up $1 or $2 music CDs. Well, you need something to rip them. Now, I know there are tons of free software out there that will do exactly what we're talking about today, but I believe in paying for stuff that I use and that I like a lot and that listen to the users uh, that are asking for service. So I'm using this Poikosoft Music Ripper. It's also called Easy CD Audio Converter here. And this has a bunch of other things. It'll do audio conversion and disc burning, but we're gonna stick to the CD ripping stuff. Now, the reason I bring it up now, I've been using this for years. The reason I bring it up now is because at my request, my personal request, they added a feature to the software. Now, that's not something you typically get with free software, unless you happen to be smart enough to go in and pull a copy of the GitHub and add it yourself. So in this case, you can rip the CD manually, but I needed an auto ripper. I've got three CDs, 10 CDs, however many CDs I buy from Goodwill, I don't wanna sit and watch and rip them all day. So this audio, this auto ripper will sit there and watch the CD drive for the insertion of another disc. And once you put the disc in, it just starts ripping. You could be playing Overwatch, you could be playing Marvel Rivals, you could be playing uh, Ragnarok, you could be playing whatever. And as long as this program is running in the background, it will continue to sit there and rip discs for you. Now, I've gone ahead here and already pre-configured it to FLAC, and you probably wanna take a look at the file names. There's a whole plethora of file name type selections, or you can roll your own. So I just go with what's out of the box. So I'm gonna turn on auto rip, all right? So it's just gonna sit there. I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna pop in a disc. It's stuck together with Goodwill stickers. And in a few moments, it'll just pick up and start ripping. I don't have to do anything. So the disc spins up. It'll go hit the databases. And it just starts ripping. That's it. And I can go do something else. I could go and play video games or do whatever I want. And as soon as it's done, it'll pop out. I put the next one in and we're good to go. So I can literally sit here and play video games and, and still be ripping my music collection that I just bought. Now, you're probably saying, okay, that sounds great. That's really useful. Again, how much is your time worth, right? How much is you constantly feeding discs in uh, and then hitting rip and select and all this other crap? How, what's your time worth, right? In my case, my time's worth a lot. So if I can shave off a few minutes here, a few minutes there when doing an entire stack, that's worth something to me. So what's it cost? Well, it's not cheap and it's not free. Um, so it's 50 bucks. That's probably gonna set you back. But I'd like to point out, that 50 bucks is a one-time payment. You never have to pay for it again. It's perpetual license, never expires. You get five licenses, which is fantastic. Um, and you get the lifetime access, right? This isn't major builds or anything like that. This is forever, $50 forever. And these guys have been around a really, really long time. So, and of course, the idea that somebody actually um, responded to my request just a second, I'll show it to you. Somebody responded to my direct request for service in their um, software and provided it free of charge. Now, I'd like to share this with you. Check this out. Right, so this is what I essentially said. I asked him if there was any way to batch rip, and he said, no, you need to put a new disc in and hit F8. Well, you can't hit F8 if you're in the middle of a game of God of War Ragnarok or Marvel Rivals, right? Um, so I told him, I said, I'd be happy. I'd be happy to help him troubleshoot. He says he's got some stuff going on. He thinks it'd be pretty easy to add a robot. And I said, sounds great. And this goes on and on, right? And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, the guy added it. He added this, he added the feature that I asked for. Did you hear that beep? That means my disc is done. So now, now I'm not going to leave. I'm not going to leave my browser. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna swap the discs out. I'm just gonna real quickly grab this next one. Oops, just drop my discs everywhere. I'm reaching over a camera, folks. Cut me a break. Put that in. Now I'm not, just lost the other disc completely. Okay, well, that's fine. Have a moment here to put the disc away. Now you'll notice I have done nothing on the screen. It's just gonna pick it up and go. And there it goes. 
and it's it's ripping right now. I haven't done anything. So that's pretty good stuff, right? I mean, listen, it's not free, but it's you pay once, you get it forever. There, there's something to be said for supporting developers that do that. Now let's go back to the software and you can definitely see it is indeed ripping the next disc. So this is what I use. Um, and there's a reason why I, and there's a reason why this software package is particularly good just outside of them being very responsive. Um, they cover almost everything. Now, if all you care about is ripping a disc once a year or something like that, this is obviously not for you. But if you're out thrift store shopping and you're coming home with a stack of 10, 20 discs that you need to rip, guys, I mean, this is the only game in town for automatic batch ripping, unless somebody knows of something else. And by all means, share it in the description below. But uh, this is the only thing that I've seen that does this. And that's because I asked for it and they provided it. But these guys do, they, these guys have it all going on. Now you also have to remember that, um, especially when it comes to digital stuff like audio or video, there are codecs involved. All audio codecs are included with the software. Now, here's the interesting part about audio codecs that a lot of people don't know. They're not all free, right? Now, yes, there's some open source ones like Vorbis and whatnot, but things like MP3 and DSD and AAC and some of these other formats probably require licenses. So when you're paying for your software, you're essentially paying for those licenses. And there's something to be said for that. There's somewhere in here it has, I thought it had the licensing stuff broken down, but I can't find it now. But suffice to say, you are paying for some top quality, uh, some top quality uh, codecs, including the ones from Fraunhofer, which have always been notoriously expensive. So yeah, there you go. So that's why I choose to spend money instead of doing it for free. I pay for convenience, I pay for support, I pay to get what I want, and this is what I want. So you can see we're almost done here. I'm just gonna go one more round here with this last disc. Might as well make it a complete show for all three discs that I need to rip anyway. By the way, I know uh, probably not a Olivia Newton-John fans around here, but what a disc that is, that magic disc that I just ripped, unbelievable. So let's trade this out. And again, I'm not gonna touch anything, it's just gonna go. And of course, this, this software has all the trimmings, right? All of the artwork and the metadata and everything, it's, um, it's very comprehensive. It does everything you could possibly want in a ripper and then some. All right, well, we don't have to sit here and watch Juice Newton rip for the rest of the day. So I hope you enjoyed this. Hey, listen, the community spoke. I asked if you wanna see the software that I use, people overwhelmingly said, yes, show us some of the stuff that you're using. It's not going to be free. It's probably not usually going to be free, but I believe in paying for good software. I believe in paying for service. I believe in paying for people that are licensing software. Uh, what I feel is correctly buy once, you know, buy once, use forever, get your updates. Uh, I'm a big fan. So hey, listen, I hope you like this. If you want to see more, like, subscribe, hit the bell, of course, and uh, we'll uh, see you in the next one. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.